I advance forward in every area of my life. I advance forward. The word of God to us tonight is said, go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Go forward. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I said that one way you can forget the past is when new things begin to happen in your life. The only reason why you're still caught up in the past is that nothing new is happening. But he says, behold, I do a new thing. I want you to quickly begin to pray. He said, Father, release certain new things in my life. Beginning from tonight, new experiences, new blessings, new promotion. Some of you are not praying, no. You don't, you don't know that it's when you cry out. Huh? The Bible says when they cried out to God, huh? then God said, go forward. Huh? Many of you are not crying out. Huh? It's when you cry out to God. Huh? You say, Father, new experiences, new dimensions of your power. New grace, new glory, new relationships, new power. Listen to me, church. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. Listen to me. You heard Pastor Funola said this on Sunday. He says, he says that God will give you new sons and daughters after the ones you lost. You see, some of you, the reason why you're still trying to go back to an old relationship or an old company of people because there's no new company around you. So you're lonely. So you want to go back. But tonight, God will release new relationships into your life. He says, after you have lost that old relationship, God will raise up new relationships. New destiny help us. Come on, pray tonight. Uh, say, Lord, in the name of Jesus, I cancel my past because of new relationships. I cancel my past uh, because of new helpers. I cancel my past uh, because of new things, new testimonies, new testimonies, new, new experiences in, with God, new experiences with God, new experiences with God, new experiences with God. New experiences with God. Father, in the name of Jesus, uh, bring temple of glory and the people of temple of glory into new experiences, into new experiences. Father, hey, hey. Give us Ephraim. Give us Ephraim. Make us fruitful so that we can forget. Make us fruitful. Come and pray like that. Huh? Say, make me fruitful so that I can forget. Give me Ephraim. Make me like Ephraim so that I can have Manasseh. Hey, Father, make them full of glory. First like Ephraim so we can forget. So we can forget. So we can forget. So we can forget. Make us fruitful. So we can forget. Some of this, I, I don't, if anybody who is really serious in this church, you're going to take these prayer points home. Now the final prayer point. The final prayer point tonight. Because of time, the final prayer point tonight. Anything that does not belong to your future, and that does not belong to your present. Tonight, let God take it away. Did you hear what I said? Anything that does not belong, when, when you look at the book of God, and there are issues that does not belong there, death, sickness, shame, may God take it away tonight. Now pray like that, pray like that. Say, Lord, anything that does not belong to my future, every shadow casting itself over my destiny, Every shadow from the past trying to overwhelm my light. Everything from the past trying to overshadow. Every, come on, be praying, be praying. Everything, everything that does not belong to my future or my present. Everything. Father, tonight in the name of Jesus, separate me from it. Separate my family from it. Separate his power from my, from my life. Separate his power from my life. Separate his power from my life. Separate his influence from my life. Be praying, oh, some of you are not praying. Open your mouth. Everything that does not belong to your future. 
If barrenness does not belong to your future, you're going to say tonight, barrenness, I leave you behind tonight. If it is poverty, ah, ah, if it is serious disappointment, serious disappointment, serious disappointment, you are say tonight, you don't belong to my future. You don't belong to my future. You don't belong to my present or my future. So in the name that is above every name, in the name of Jesus, I break your power. I break your power. I break your power. Confusion, you don't belong to my present or my future. So I remove you from TOG. Ah! 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 Father, all who are part of this communion, all part of who are part of this fellowship, Father, whatever, every stubborn pursuer, every shadow, attempting to overwhelm their future, attempting to cast a shadow upon their light. Ah! Take it away tonight. Take it away tonight. Take it away tonight. Let a strong wind come from your presence. Let it begin to cover them. Let it begin to cover them. Let their path become dark and slippery. Take up shield and buckler. Take up spear, my father, and pursue them. Hallelujah. Listen to me, church. Two quick things. Listen to me. See, the only reason why somebody pursues somebody is because the person they are pursuing is running. Sometimes, eh, you pursue somebody, the person refuses to run. You say, oh. The days of you running away are over. <laughs> In fact, by the grace of God upon your life, you should pursue what is pursuing you. You should what? You know, the reason why they have the kind of liberty to be pursuing you because you're always running. Say, beginning from tonight, I am not running anymore. I reverse it in the name of Jesus. I pursue them in the name of Jesus. I chase those who are chasing me. I pursue those who are pursuing me. Let the angel of the Lord, let them chase them now. Everyone pursuing you, let the angel of the Lord, let them chase them now. Don't stop praying, no. Pray, pray, pray. Father, take up shield and buckler. Father, raise up the spear. Everything that has chased our church, Father, tonight we'll reverse it. 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 Father, everything that I've chased the men and women who came out here tonight. Father, Father, chase them, chase them. Let their path become dark and slippery. Lord, we bless, we bless the bread and we bless the wine. We ask that you that you cause every every piece of bread to become the flesh, the body of Jesus Christ. Let everyone become the blood of Jesus.